What's going on everybody? It's Wade with Swamp Donkey Archery. So I got a little bow build I'm going to do today. This one's a little bit different. It's uh, it's an older Athens bow that uh, we're going to uh, take the limbs off, swap limbs out, swap cams, stuff like that. Go from a little heavier setup to a little lighter setup. So uh, that's something you're interested in. Stick around. All right. How you find folks doing today? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, so we're going to get into this video. Uh, like I said, this is going to be an older Athens. I'm going to say it's a recluse. Um, guy got in touch with me. He's wanting to set it up for his wife. It's got a little heavier limbs on it. I think there might be 50 pound limbs. Not real sure. But uh, he looked around and found some little lighter limbs and uh, shorter draw, uh, shorter draw cams, stuff like that. So we're just going to uh, kind of do a, a fun and entertaining video today. It's not going to be a whole lot of educational purpose to it. I just figured it'd be kind of a cool little build because I'm getting to swap a whole lot of stuff out on it and uh, just let y'all kind of come along for the ride. So I'm going to use my, my uh, stupid little <laughs> necklace here that we're going to put, the, uh, put my camera in and I'm going to kind of let y'all get a first person view of it while I'm building it. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I'll show y'all what we got here. This is the the bow we was talking about. This is a uh, older, uh, like I said, an Athens recluse. It is a left-handed bow, so we're gonna. He sent it to me. It just had sight on it, and he's like, "Man, I want you to change limbs out, and change cams, uh, put her rest and everything on it. Probably get her some uh, different errors here soon, and uh, get it built up as well." So this is the bow. These are the lighter cam or lighter limbs here. Um, I'm going to say these are these are 40 pounders. I can't remember for sure. And then uh, here is the shorter draw cams for it, and that is a set of donkey threads, custom made by me, that I'd already sent him. And then he decided rather than going to the shop up there just to go ahead and send it to me and let me get it all put together which i'm i'm pretty flattered for that so and this is going to be the rest to go on at the qad uh it's the hdx so the little better quality uh qad so yep here we go let's get everything set up so first things first we're going to go ahead and put this in press and go ahead and press it and get the strings and everything off of it and what I'll probably do here in just a second is I'm going to take a picture of where all the shims are on this thing. That way I know exactly where to put them back up at just in case, uh, just in case I forget. So, all right, we got in press. Let me take them pictures real quick. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I can keep this thing where it needs to be. So we're going to... Go ahead and press it and take strings off. And take the cables off. And I took a few pictures of how everything was routed and whatnot beforehand. <clears throat> so there's that and we're gonna take where the bugger there it is I'm gonna uh probably just go ahead and see if I can get these axles out without any trouble and uh, if I can I'll just leave them in the press if not I'll take it out of the press and uh, take everything loose from there take these little clips out hold on to dims whoa well, good thing they sent uh, Eclipse with them, too, because that one just went flying. All right, there's the spacers. All right, let's do this other side real quick. All right, both cams are on. Now we're going to be real gentle, like, trying taking this thing out to press. 
especially with this one having this uh the shorter finger right here because it had the uh limb stop on that cam you need to make sure you hold on to the bow whenever you're totally unpressing it because those things are trying to jump around on you a little bit if you don't don't watch out let me get all the tension off of it there we go and then usually the limbs will usually just fall off pretty much i'm gonna see if i can get it over here on the table here so we can keep up with everything move this stuff out the way all right so now these limbs should just come right out sometimes they'll pop right out sometimes you gotta take the little limb adjustment bolt out make sure you keep up with okay yeah because see that sometimes sometimes this hole right here goes all the way to the end of the limbs and sometimes it don't so just make sure you keep up with all your washers and everything and most importantly one of the biggest things i've seen where people uh mess up is this little bad boy right here this is like a shim that goes under your limbs that keeps your bottom side of your limb from hitting this hard edge right here this will crack and bust a limb so freaking fast it ain't funny and then of course that just fell out was the uh this piece that sits in here which is where your uh poundage adjust there we go where the poundage adjustment goes so we're gonna go ahead and screw that back like that let's do the same thing for the other side Out, set that there make sure we keep up with that go ahead and push this out so it don't get lost and then this now there's all that so that now of course these are going to be kind of free floating so now we got everything off the bow that needs to come off what i'm going to do i'm going to get some just soapy water and a toothbrush and i'm just going to go ahead and clean everything up and then we're going to put it all right back together and clean these hands off a little bit too all right so now we're going to kind of clean everything up the the limbs and everything have already been cleaned so the, these are in nice shape the only thing i'm going to do with this is i'm going to uh put some uh lithium grease on these before i put these axles in these new cams and the cams are clean so i'm not going to worry about cleaning them so what I'm gonna do, I just got this little spray bottle right here I keep full of soapy water. I'm gonna soak down the uh, limb adjustment bolts, the little bushing that they go in, and uh, then just clean the little pockets, limb pockets out. And uh, I'll go ahead and clean some of the risers out too while I'm right here, just to, just to make it look good. So now this does have you know some grease in there yes i am cleaning out the grease but i am going to put this grease back in i just want to put some nice new grease in it this soapy water just does really good that's what i've used on several other of these uh kind of i call a retro bow build i'm gonna spray it on the little rocker bushings or whatever i call them rocker bushings i don't know if that's the right terminology for it or not but that's what i call them and while we got it sitting right here we're just going to go ahead and clean her up some these older athens have a lot of different cuts in the risers and this looking good okay now for a trusty old WD-40 white lithium grease. This is some good stuff. If you don't have this in your shop, you need to go get you a can of it. Not only does this stuff work good as far as a lube, it, it sticks with it for a little while. And it also, uh, when you're putting stuff back together, it makes it stick just good enough that 
it'll kind of hold it, make stuff hold, kind of hold itself in place. Like when I put these bushings back in here, if I put a little bit of grease on it, it should, it's probably going to make an idiot of me and not do it, but uh, it should help hold this bushing in place so we can get these, get these limbs back on it. Let me see if I can get this up here where you can, where you can see it. See, it's a little bit out of frame there. There we go. Let's see it right here. Yep. All right. So both these limbs are the same, so there's not a top and a bottom. So uh, on these particular limbs, and the way I like to do it, I'll put this, uh, put this bushing in here. Yeah, they'll stay for a little bit. And then I'll grab one of the limbs, put the bolt through, and then like I say, don't forget this i'm gonna put just a little bit of a little bit of that lithium grease on it and it sits in a slot inside that cap right there now we're going to just slide this in there see if i can hit the there we go all right hit the threaded hole on that and the way i usually do whenever i do uh, a limb swap like this when i'm doing it off my uh like sitting here on a table uh, in order to keep it from flopping around too much I will go ahead and tighten it down about all the way down just that way the limb don't fall out if you have it backed off uh, the limb will sometimes it'll fall right back out so got that down snug as I can get it with my fingers now we'll do the other side all right there we go now we got top and bottom on there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take me a little wrench and snug these rest away the down and then we're going to go ahead and put our cams on it while we got it down here okay so these cams like i said are draw length specific and uh, is dictated as far as top and bottom so they should be marked on here i think they're dictated as far as top and bottom top this one's a bottom knock this little pin off here get it back a little closer knock pin off here sorry i don't have no real nice overhead camera stand so that's the best i can do there unless i got it uh on my uh on my neck and uh that was kind of getting on my nerves a little bit while ago so while ago this one is here and then we had the one shim on the other side Get that one shim in there. Shim and bow is one of the most aggravatingest, tedious, make you say dirty words faster than anything else <laughs> that I've done. Because there's such a pain in the butt sometimes to get everything to line up. Alright, here we go. We got both cams back on it limbs on it everything's nice and lubed uh, uh got the um uh, bushings or uh dang whatever i called them a while ago these uh these little rockers uh limb rocker bushings right here in there everything all greased up ready to go so now we're going to take it back over here put it back on the press and get ready to start putting her back together so we do have to take these limb stops off of this cam and swap it to the other. So we're going to do that real quick. This is for nice solid stop and it's slotted so you can adjust. It's mainly slotted so you can adjust your uh, let off, but it'll also help you a little bit on draw length, not much. I pressed about where it's supposed to be, 
when it's stagnant. So now I should be able to get my cables. We'll put our cables on first and then we'll do our string. Cause I was the one that put them on here. So, all right, here we go. Get one of these. I'm gonna go on this one. Let's see, where's my, there it is. Go on the tab on this side, pull that through here's going on. on this one. Yep, yeah, that's right. Short sides on this side. So these cables are going to have a long side and a short side. So you just got to make sure, pay attention to which cable which side of the cable you're putting where your uh long side is going to go on your uh, i guess you'd call it your take in your short side's going to go on your take out get those there there all right all right i might play with that and get the cross on the bottom let's get the string on All right, this is going to be the bottom side. This is the top side. That goes here. Around. To here. All right. There, that looks close. I'm going to go ahead and put a little tension on this. And I'm gonna make sure it looks like everything falls into place and then we're gonna come back all right so I had to uh, look at a few things and uh, straighten up I had these cables on the wrong side of the roller right here knew something didn't look right so I fixed that and got the cross on the bottom side of the string now I'm just verifying everything is sitting in the tracks and we will take it out of the press now there we go all right everybody's got their own way of setting where they want to put their d-loop the rest and everything this is just how i do it i look and try to get it going close to the center of the burger hole as i can some uh some of the uh, bows nowadays like a little knock high, a little knock low. Just uh, some of them you have to play with. But this one, I'm going to try to run right through the middle of the burger hole, dead level. And that'll be a good starting point. Because I hadn't messed with one of the uh, older Athens like this to, to know what they like. So it's a good starting point. So I'll get it where it looks like it's going to be through the middle of the burger hole knock an error on it give it the old squat test and then i'm gonna put a level on the error i'm gonna put a level on the bow and i'm gonna get the bow bow in bubble right there and then i'm gonna look at the error All right, that's that's level right there. So that's where we're going to start it. Okay, so I went ahead and got the rest mounted on there. Um, <clears throat> kind of went ahead and got everything lined up where I wanted to. Set my D loop. May put a shorter D loop on it. That's kind of long. But let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. Set that down. Whereas how I want to, how I usually line everything up. So I don't know if you can see this center line right here. I try to set it to where everything kind of runs down the middle of the bow, cam straight, middle of the bow, through the middle of the rest, down that way. That don't always prove true, but that is a really, really good starting point. So that's where I set the rest. Like I said, we got it level through the burger hole, 
D loop tied in and I'm fixing to tie the rest in. And when I built these strings, this is gonna be I knew this was gonna be a cable driven wrist, so I put my extra little tag in here, just like putting a tag in in for a peep sight in the uh in between your strands in between your colored strands that way you can have it in the middle same thing with here i'm going to put this to split directly in the middle of the bundle of strings so we're going to do that real quick then we're going to uh see how she's going to do all right so now what we're going to do is we're putting this thing in my draw board and we're going to draw her back And make sure everything's in time, which it is. Um, I don't know if you can see the see the limb stop hitting on top and bottom. It's really, really close, close enough that I can start kind of tinkering with it and playing with it. Uh, got the as I draw it back, I let it pull the string on the. Uh, on the wrist there to get it nice and taut and then we'll tie that bad boy in and that's everything we fixing to do to it real quick so we got her all together new limbs new cams new strings new wrist uh had the loop spun a little bit because i twisted the string a little while ago to tweak some uh tweak some draw length and yeah it's looking real good so now i'm going to try to shoot it through this paper over here see what she looks like uh this might not be the exact era that uh we'll wind up setting up for her, but uh it's a 500 spine i got on about 3500 pounds be a little bit stiff at 35 but not bad it's going to give me a good uh good baseline to start so y'all don't laugh at me trying to shoot left-handed because I, I ain't a left-handed person all right here we go make sure i ain't torquing that riser see what she looks like through paper not too bad I'm gonna shoot one more time looks pretty good whenever you take the time try to set it up right most of the time it helps a lot on the tuning side so do one more right through here oh yeah looks good looks good I think the little bit of little bit of low tear in it might just be how I'm how I'm holding it I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit here off camera tweak a wrist height or something like that but pretty much we're done that's it that is the deal uh, hope y'all liked the video give me a thumbs up if you did so my channel hadn't already done it Hit me up in them comments down there if you got any questions. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, uh, look me up on my website, swampdonkeyarchery.com. And uh, shoot me a message there. Got my phone number, whatever. Give me a call. So, yep. Guess other than that, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good one.